Jamis is an adventurer. And if you guys are new here, I am a macro and landscape photographer who likes to push macro and landscape photographers out of their comfort zone to get to their big picture. What, the, what does that mean? That means no more squirreling around for those of you that really want to go forward with your work. Where is the, there's, there it is. <laughs> So I am a huge adventurer. That means that I really do push out of the comfort zone for my own self too. And that's how I became a professional photographer, selling a lot of uh, images for high tickets because I push myself and that's what I want for you guys. And so I said to myself, I have uh, two different places we're going to stream from today. One is YouTube. And the other one is our private Facebook group, Adventurers of the F-Stop. And if you're interested in that, there is a link down below the YouTube. And I'm going to check real quick just to make sure that I'm actually live on YouTube and on our Adventurer uh, group because this is where we are supposed to be. So we're supposed to be here on two different places today to talk about equipment. I'm going to share with you my equipment, what I like about it. Yes, I am at least on the Facebook group. Hi, you guys. Awesome to see you. Uh, yes, I'm going to share my mess today. It's And I'm on a device called Stream, Stream Yard. Stream, Restream. Restream. So that's why I could do two different things. Because I, two different areas. Because I have a Facebook fun page that I really love or channel. And I really love our Facebook group. So let me look on YouTube because I know everything's good on Facebook. So we're rocking it there. Yes, I am live now. They say that I uh, hopefully I'm not stuck because they say, oh, on I, there I am. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to say hello. And because I don't know if the chat is working, it says private chat. Whoa, private chat. So I'm not sure if the if the chat is working. That's why I have my laptop over here on the side. So I'll check back and forth because I'm not going to take questions till after. Okay, you guys, just because I have two streams going at the same time. So welcome, welcome. Yes, you will hear, do hear dogs bark. And yes, it is crazy. Um, the light is really crazy. So I want to share with you guys equipment. Equipment for macro photographers when you're indoors. That's why you're in my mess right now. Where is the... Am I there? Yes. Okay. So, and we had an awesome question today in the Facebook group. So if you guys are Facebook people, check out Adventures of the F-Stop. It is an awesome group, private for landscape and macro photographers, macro photographers who want to push forward into their pho photographic journey. And it is a great place. So we're going to talk about macro. I'm going to share with you guys my awesome equipment. So there's a couple things that I want to share with you that I love and that what I don't love. And I just remember, oh, so I'm wondering where my, I thought I had my rail. Okay, I probably do. Well, I will share with you everything. So if you do not have, we'll start with this. If you do not have a um, one of these uh, shutter release, which is really cool because it has all the timers and all the good stuff in here, which I really love. Then I suggest you use a timer for at least two to three seconds when you're macro photographing on your camera because there is shake when we photograph and macro, you have to be very, very patient with, um, you know, you don't want to, you want it sharp where you want the things to be sharp. So I use this Canon and I highly recommend it. You don't have to use a Canon, but what I like about it is that you can do other things. You can do things, you can do timers, so you could set things to go on its own with this, which I've done. I've done slow, you know, um, you could also do it because it's landscape, so I've done star shots with this. Love this for sure. That is one of my favorites. And I'm going, I have, my rack, that was my main thing, of course, I wanted to share here. Okay, my main thing that I wanted to share and what I like about it and what I don't like, that's what we're talking about today is what I like and what I don't like. So when you get up close to your subject, you know 
the ones that have been doing it for a while that we lose depth of field. Now the other ones, other people that are just starting, you may be like, um, what are you talking about? Well, as you get your lens closer to the subject, you lose focus basically. And so what I like to do when I'm getting up close is use, and then this, everything is so old. I'll tell you, man, it is so, so, so old. And I'm looking for the name of it. Okay. So you can see it. So it's a NovaFlex. I love NovaFlex. I, the reason why I love NovaFlex, you can get cheaper brands, but they rock it, man. I hike and I go crazy and I, this thing is so tough. I love it. And I've had it for years, years. This is old. And uh, I, so I feel like unless I need a new piece of equipment, I will not purchase a new piece of equipment because it's working. If something's not working, Janice is looking for a new piece of equipment or to make my life easier. I know there's better ones than these nowadays because they have them now for macro where not only do the rails go up and down where this goes up, you know, back and forth, they have them on the side, which is really cool. But I'll tell you with the little, this little dial and this little dial right here, you can change increments very, very slow and make little changes to your, you take, you move it, take a shot, move it, take a shot, move it, take a shot. And the reason why is because you want to get more in focus. So that means you're doing it to the next level. This is for intermediate photographers. You definitely want to stack your images. That means take a bunch of images and put them together. And I love Zareen Stacker first, and then Helicon Focus with Remote. Those are the two things that I absolutely love. And after this live is done, I will put the links down below so you guys can see it. So, um, but this is what I don't like about it. Okay, see this little dial right here? They make better ones now. So this, they have them now with a, um, what is it, a fast clip? It's a square one now, and you don't have to worry about this guy right here. So this little thing, I will share with you, attaches, I'm gonna show you my tripod and my favorite lens. And my, um, this right here goes onto my, my tripod, which I'm going to share with you guys too. My favorite tripod. I love my tripod. It is so old. Um, but what happens is see this little hole right here, this little dial, which I've lost because it's so teeny weeny. It goes in here and I'll share with you. You screw it in, right? And then you put it in here. So right now, I when I do a lot of studio work, I actually take off this. I take off this because it's just in the way and it hangs. But Kevin and I just got back from, well, not just got back. We, we've been back. We went to Sedona, went hiking. So I always have that. So as you can see, look, so you take this and put it in here and it to me can be a pain. You have to tighten it so tight. Let's see if you guys can see. See, I'm screwing this like this. And you you know, they make better ones now, but I still like NovaFlex. So I have to tighten that baby up and I use, I'll show you. So as I'll show you how it's worked, how I use it, how's it, how it works. See, that's the thing with live. When you're not live, you can just screw up your words and cut all that off. But this is live. <laughs> so Janice is like totally going to share with you how it would be to hang out with me if we were photographing together. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So let me bring this baby down a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. And I'll bring it up close. So I do have a thing called a platypod right now on here, which I'll share with you. Just hold on. I don't want to go too far. Right now, what I want to say is for macro photographers, I feel, honestly, you should really have a ball head. And I am a Manfrotto woman. So you can do whatever you want. Today is all about what I'm sharing, what I use, and what I like. And you could share in the chat 
what you like and tell me why. Because I would love, I mean, we're all junkies, right? I don't know if you guys know about ShotKit. Go to ShotKit.com. And I am very honored to be one of their top photographers uh, that they have interviewed about equipment. Because Janice loves equipment. <laughs> so you'll see all the equipment there. I'm not talking about all my equipment. I'm just talking about macro today. And the reason why, what I like and what I don't like. So I love Manfrotto, and I'll tell you why in a second, but I love my ball head. My ball head is absolutely amazing because I can put it wherever I want and get in close and do my fun things with my photography. So um, I have, so let me just open it up. See, I'll show this to you. So this is old. You guys could have new. Doesn't matter what you have. Remember, it's all about what you're, what you're gonna get, what you're gonna get out of your stuff. So I'm just gonna attach this on here. This is a, this is on here also. I have several of these babies. And let's go. Hello. There we go. So it's clipped on very easily. I'll get up close so you guys can see it, and I'll talk about my lenses. So the reason why I like Manfrotto, go down even lower, is do you see this bar right here, you guys? This bar, this bar comes out and it goes sideways into my tripod. Now my tripod is a very heavy studio tripod. It's not carbon like a lot of hikers like to use because I do a lot of my work in studio in my home when i first started doing macro photography i there's a window right here that's what i did i was hanging out with the window so this manfrotto we'll go down even lower this manfrotto has what i like even these make a difference instead of the screw ones that people have i love my tripod to have a clip it's like bam it's clipped it is rock Side, rock hard solid when you're using these uh, this type of tripod because again we are photographing macro and we want things really really tight but again you can have carbons if you go out it's much lighter and very sturdy so let's come back up to me so Manfrotto is my favorite when it comes to a tripod it really it really does rock the manfrotto is just absolutely amazing um the next thing that i want to share with you is i just bought a platypod so those of you that are watching from youtube i just did an unboxing on this platypod let's see if i could just do it like this yeah see the platypod right here this is a platypod. And this right here, you could see more. I'll put the link in for you guys to see more about it, but it is um, wonderful to use. I absolutely love it. This is what I take when I go macro outdoors, when I get up close to a lot of different places like rocks and all kinds of stuff and leaves. So I love this. And I'll put that link down below. I'm going to take my camera off. I am a Canon girl. When it comes to cameras, I'm ready for a new camera. But I am a Canon 5D3. I didn't go to Canon 5D4 because it didn't have enough change for me, but I love full format and I'm just used to it. So that's why I'm still in the Canon uh, realm and I i'm waiting to see what they're doing with their mirrorless the macro side of things they just nobody steps up to the plate with macro yet i feel i think they're starting to so i'm paying attention to the lenses because that's the most important thing i feel is the lens so this right here is oh i have the it's open <laughs> i'm shooting as you could tell i was shooting christmas stuff so this right here is my ultimate favorite. I'm going to, so this is what I do. I'm going to show you what I love to do. This is inside. 
I'm talking about what we do indoors. This is a beautiful lens. It's a macro 100 millimeter. I think this is a perfect macro lens to start off with. I feel it is very, very, I did years, I've done years with macro. Uh, this is the 100 millimeter. Now you might say, why is it so long, Janice? Because Janice uses an extender. So here is my lens. The 100 millimeter is a great lens to start off with macro. And, but I'm, I got to get closer. That's what I love to do. So I have the Canon and I just stick with the same, you know, I don't care. I, I like deals, so don't get me wrong, but I just kind of stick with the same thing. It's a Canon extension tube EF25. Can you see that? So that is what, and all it does is extend your lens so you can get closer to your subject, which is awesome. And you can see the little components in there. That is talking to my camera and the camera so I can get my exposure and all the goodies that I need. Uh, I'm not doing things manual. This right here is uh, that's what Janice does from now on. Um, but you if you're just starting off, I want to recommend that just to, when you're first starting off, I recommend just starting off with a macro lens or a filter that goes in front. I'm going to unbox a filter for you guys soon. So look out if you're uh, not part of the YouTube, subscribe to the channel because you'll see that this way you get emails when something comes out when I do. I do videos every single Thursday for you guys. And today I wanted to do live. I wanted to try StreamYard. I wanted to see how I, because I promised everybody in the Facebook group that I would be hanging out with them during Christmas. So I said, well, let me try this. Of course I had to pay to stream two places, right? Because they don't, you have to have a, yeah, for groups. It's the business side is so fun. So anyway, so that all I do is put my macro lens right in to my extender. So if you are already, or already have been photographing for a while, I suggest do this because it's so exciting. You get way closer, but again, you are getting less depth of field and less light. So the tripod is really a must. And this little rail that I just shared with you is a total must for me. Uh, there, I can't see anybody hand holding doing this kind of stuff. So, and I don't really want to anyways. I mean, I just love to get into my subject. So that's just, I'm sharing you what I like, what I don't like. So what I don't like, I'll tell you, I love this lens, what I don't like, it's not, so if this lens right here is not the lens that I would use if I was to really go outside and hand hold because it doesn't have a stabilizer. So I don't like this lens, but it's way cheaper than the one that has a stabilizer. I'll tell you that. What I love about the extender is that it gets me close to the image, but what I don't like, it's just normal. I have less depth of field. So I know that I'm going to be stacking my work, getting a whole bunch of shots, to be able to get things up, what I want you to see up close and sharp. So um, that is that. Now, there is a couple more things that I want to share with you when it comes to macro photography. Before I say, before I look, I want to see if there's any questions. I want to do the questions afterwards if you guys have questions. Okay, so we're talking about... Those are my main things, Manfrotto, Platypod, Novaflex for the rail. And um, again, it, the camera doesn't, the camera doesn't matter so much. Really, it doesn't. The lens matters. Camera doesn't matter that much. Everybody gets so hung up on cameras. It's just a little tool. But, um, you know, some people, yeah, it's just the way it is. So, um, <laughs> But I want to talk to you a little bit more. I want to add a little bit more to getting your studio set up for macro photography and not paying a lot of money. Don't get all crazy. So I'm going to share with you a little setup that I was doing and I'm going to have to put it down so you guys can see my mess, right? This is my mess and you won't see me too much. Oh, this is my 70 to 200. This is not macro, but guess what? 
I wanted to share this with you because I'm getting a macro adapter for this, and that's what that's what I'm gonna unbox and unveil. And I use it and share with you guys all the fun tips. I'll come back to the screen with after I share my little setup. Maybe I should take this off. Let me see. It is live, so I don't know. I might have to just, I don't want to get you guys sick. So let me share with you down here my mess. See this right here? This right here are sawhorses. They're metal sawhorses. And my hubby bought them for me. I don't tell him, but I wish they were black instead of yellow. <laughs> but they do make these black. And they're awesome. So what I do is I put them, I put like a board, a board on top of them. So you can see the board. So here, I'll just share with you. So here, I don't, I don't even know if you can see. These are the sawhorses. And then I put a board. This is just the regular whatever it is. I don't even know. Just anything, anything that you could find to uh, stabilize what you're going to do. So you'll see here that this right here for, for this shot, I'm using velvet to, I think it's a great way. Otherwise you would see my mess back here. Oh, something just fell. See, there's my mess. Now to try to shoot like that is so distracting. Now, even if you're getting up close, it is, oh, I just made a mess. Let's see if I can put this back. <laughs> oh my gosh how funny is that anyways <laughs> this see now look at how better that is even if you're getting macro and getting up close to things you still just have a black background you can have a white you could i have paper that i take behind here um what i'm using right now i'll share with you is black plexiglass janice has a course that you guys could have um, got real cheap, but it's already went by. Um, I'll share with you guys what I'm doing right now. So this is black plexiglass. And it is, like I said, you can use paper, you can use so many different things just to tape. I'll show you the board right now and then that will probably be it. Let me see, whoa, whoa. See, it's hard when I take things. Hi. <laughs> Trying to fix the tripod <laughs> so you got a little, so you can at least see me. What is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay, let me show you these boards real quick. It's so easy. You could just go to the craft store. Macro photography is so easy. Where am I? Yes, over here. So this is the velvet. You can see how ugly it is right now, but when you shoot, it's totally different. Absorbs. If you need to bounce lines. This is something, just go to the craft store and buy some white ones. And this is what I was saying that I tape. And I just put it on top of my sawhorses and it's absolutely amazing. So there's so many different ways to really push your creativity and really focus on bringing outdoors in, you know, go to this local market or the florist and buy something and bring the bugs in. You can, I mean, we've had people on the Macro Chat Live show, which is part of YouTube where they have, um, they actually have their spiders and they, you could buy spiders and they keep them alive. So it's really, really cool. So um, I, I think you can do this indoors, just take a little effort. But one of the things I wanted to share with you too is when we're playing with all of the equipment, um, it really does make our life much easier because it is very tough to do macro photography. So um, I am going to share real quick with you today. There, I have a program that is almost $1,400. It's a huge, huge program on really focusing on your equipment. And it is a Mastering Your Tools project. And the Mastering Your Tools project will really hone you in and you set goals to learn the different tools so you can move forward to the next level. You do not need to buy tons of tools if you don't need them because you have to understand why do you need them and then you take that to the next creativity so you can really get your work the way you want it, right? The way you want your work to be. So right now for 24 hours, it's on sale for $69 because I'm having a 12 day of Christmas. Hello, it rocks. I'm so excited. I really am excited. I only could do this once 
And I've the first time I've ever done it. So this program for 20, well, tomorrow it goes down at eight o'clock. After you're watching this video after, it will be gone. So you can get the whole program and much more if you check the link down below and join, uh, check it out and learn some tools and I'll be here for you to push you out of your comfort zone and get you going to really hone in on your macro photography. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna say goodbye. I don't even know how long it's been because Restream, let me see if there's any questions before I say goodbye. Hi, Ada. Oh my gosh, hello, hello, Ada. Do you have any questions on the equipment? I'm so happy you're here. I did not, I just, this is just out of the blue of doing this. I would, did not plan to do this live stream, but it's working. I love it. I love that it's working. Let me look on Facebook and see if there's any questions in my group. No, there's not. Okay. Wow, I've been on for 25 minutes just jabbering. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend that's coming up. And I will say goodbye because I do not see any questions. So if you do have questions, just leave it in the comment section and I will answer your questions for sure. And the links that everything that I talk about will be in your goodies, wherever this is streaming, Facebook group, YouTube, and I will put them in within 24 hours. Got a lot going on. All right, you guys, well, rock it with your equipment and have a wonderful day. I'm going to see how do I turn this off because <laughs> I don't even know. This is the first time that I've been on Restream. Oh, look at that's like a private chat. I didn't even know that. So let's see. I don't know. Oh, my gosh.